Once upon a time, there was an old married couple with no children. They desperately wanted a child, so every day they went to a nearby shrine to pray. One morning, they woke up to the sound of a baby crying. They rushed out of bed and were astonished at what they saw. It was a baby, so small that it could fit in the palm of the woman's hand. Despite the baby's strange size, they were overjoyed and took good care of him. When the boy got older, he would spend his time adventuring around the yard, dreaming of being a samurai. To train, he would help his father gather wood, and would practice his swordsmanship every day with a sewing needle from his mother. Eventually, he became so skilled with his little sword that he could defeat any bug or small animal in his path. When the boy reached adulthood, he asked his parents if he could leave home and see the city. His parents agreed. So with a rice bowl as his boat and a pair of chopsticks as his oars, he began his journey to the city. At first, the waters were calm and the trip was progressing smoothly. But suddenly, a heavy storm came and the tiny samurai almost fell into the deep waters. But as the storm passed, he looked up and saw a bridge bustling with people. He had made it to the city. He began walking around the town, careful to avoid being stepped on. When he eventually came upon the entrance to a beautiful palace, he wanted to get a better look inside, so he grabbed on to the feet of a swallow and flew into the air. From there, he spotted a beautiful princess and was determined to meet her. When he spotted the princess's father, he hopped down from the bird to speak to him. He asked if he could become one of the king's samurai. Amused at the thought of having such a very small samurai, he agreed. The tiny samurai was allowed to live in the king's palace and studied every day to become a better samurai. He also met the princess and they quickly became friends. One day, the princess was going to visit a temple and she brought the tiny samurai with her. But on the way to the temple, they were stopped by a fearsome oni. It quickly knocked out the princess's guards. But the tiny samurai was not afraid and promised the princess that he would protect her. He attacked and stabbed his sword into the oni's finger, but the oni quickly grabbed him and swallowed him whole. Once again, the oni went to attack the princess when he suddenly cried out in shock from a sharp pain in his stomach. It was the tiny samurai poking away inside the oni's stomach. The oni fell down in pain and coughed up the tiny samurai. Now scared of the tiny samurai, the oni apologized and ran away in such a hurry that he dropped his magic mallet. The princess picked it up and playfully waved it over the tiny samurai. The tiny samurai suddenly felt very strange and began to grow and grow until he was even taller than the princess. The princess was shocked at this transformation and the two continued to spend time together and deepen their connection. A few months later, they married and lived happily ever after. And after the wedding, the tiny samurai, who is now a normal-sized prince, returned home to visit his parents. His parents were so proud when they heard of all that had happened, and they lived happily ever after as well.